Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about a Linux machine from CyberSec Labs. This is Debug and let's get into it. So first we're going to do our Nmap scan and we will find that we have port 22 which is SSH open and we also have port 80 open. So the first thing we do when we have port 80 open is get a GoBuster running. So let's bust some directories with a word list user share word lists dir buster and then I like to use big.txt and we'll put that on the URL which is going to be our IP here. So whilst that is running let's take a look at the actual web page. So it's a web page for future design. Uh, it's a small page and if we take a look at the links here we have a services link, a blog link, a contact link and that's about everything that's going on. So let's look at services. Not much here. We have some blog posts and we have this contact page. In the meanwhile, our scan is still running, but I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to do get the output that that scan would have gotten. And as we can see here, we have the about page that we found, the blog page, the contact page, the services page, but we have this console page where we have a status 200. So let's take a look at that. So if we go to slash console, we can see that we have an interactive Python console. Now normally this should be protected with a pin or a, a, actually this should never be open like if you read the flask documentation it says never leave the debugger open in any environments but here it is open so let's see if we can do some, some Python here. Doesn't look like it. Let's take a look at, at what these requests are doing. We get a 404 when we, when we run that. That's kind of strange. Oh, now it worked. Okay, so it seems that like that is quite not reliable. Um, but okay, so we can execute Python code here. Let's see if we can try and get a reverse shell. So I go to Pentest Monkeys, which has a great reverse shell sheet sheet. And here we have one for Python. So we're just going to copy that, paste that in here. We have to change our IP address, which is 101008 port 1234 and let's get a listener for that port and I'm going to use RL rep uh, which is very useful and I'll show you once I get a shell why this is something that you might want to add uh, before your netcat listener. So now we're listening let's enter here uh, and we see we got a 404 which is uh, quite a bummer so we have to try that again and I'm actually going to copy this so that if it fails this time, I can just paste it in. You still get a 404. Let's reload this. Uh, and that seems like it succeeded. And it did. So now we can do ls. We can do who am I. And now the great thing about this RL rep binary is that if we go up, we can now uh, get access to our previous commands or command history. So that's why I really like uh, putting that there. So, now that we have a shell as Megan, we can try running some enumeration scripts to maybe escalate to um, enumerate and see if we can escalate privileges to root. So we're going to go to winpiece or limpiece. Uh, in here we have limpiece.sh. Then we can put our Python server on, so python 3 m HTTP.server on port 80. And then we can do a wget of 10.10.0.8 slash linpiece.sh which we can't save here so we got to go to a different directory uh, slash home slash megan and here we can wget this file then we need to give ourselves execute permissions on this file and execute it okay so limpiece took a little while to run there but it has finally finished, so let's look through the output. So you see we're part of the LXD group, which is um, something we might want to exploit uh, to keep in mind. Then if we keep scrolling, nothing too interesting here. A dot .service file, but this doesn't look like a dot .service file. So I'm not sure if that's a false positive there. Uh, again, the pseudo group. If we keep scrolling, um, find some SSH keys for Megan, but we're already Megan, so I don't think that is something. And then for SUID, we find that we can execute XXD, 
as as root I think. So let's take a look at that. So ls slash user slash bin slash xxd um, dash la. And we see that yes, we will execute this binary as root. Okay, so let's see if, if that's anything we can exploit. So for that, we're going to use GTFO bins. I'm going to type in xxd and for suit. And we see that we can read a file and then reverse it. Okay, so let's try that. So we're going to do xxd. And we can do a. Um, okay, that's from the web page. Uh, xxd and then our file. So let's do etsy passwd. That's xxd. I should reverse that. Okay, and we can read files like that. So if you can read etsy passwd, we might be able to read. Uh, since we're running this as root, we will be able to read etsy shadow. And this gives us two hashes. So let's quickly put those hashes in a file. So we have a hash for root that we can paste in here and that we can now crack with John. Uh, John dash dash word list equals user share word lists rock you dot txt and then we supply the hash here and while that's running oh that has cracked because I have cracked it before so now we have to do John dash dash show on our hash And that's going to show us that for root, the password is Shanghai. So now we can see, we can try to use that. So can we ask you as root? Uh, yes, we can. And now we are, we are root. So that was this box. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back for another video.